you guys, today I'm making some cauliflower nachos. I got a house full of kids, but I'm about to make this snack and it looks so delicious. I wanted to share the recipe with you. So I'll show you all the ingredients and everything that I use. It's super easy to make. If you have an air fryer, you're gonna cook this in like a fraction of the time. I think I set the air fryer for like 15 minutes. It was done in 10, so I can't wait to show you and let me know if you make it. Tag me on Instagram, not fat, not skinny, so I can see your delicious uh, rendition of these cauliflower nachos. So you're gonna need a whole head of cauliflower and what I did was I thinly sliced them so I kind of removed each piece and was able to like just create these little, from each little florette, I sliced it down the middle so that you have some thin dippers, okay? So I already have half in the air fryer, but this is just the raw version. Then I went ahead and I seasoned it with some cumin powder, onion powder, garlic powder, a little black pepper, and then I drizzled it with about two teaspoons of organic olive oil from Costco. So all you're gonna do is put this into the air fryer for about 12 minutes to be exact, depending, I filled the entire thing, and let's see how it looks. So these are our veggies we're gonna use for the nachos. I have some red onion, some peppers, these are just the little peppers that I sliced, fresh tomato and, and guac. And I just put lime and sea salt on that. So here are the cauliflower pieces. I love the air fryer, made them like kind of crispy on the edges, so it's soft 10 minutes made it the perfect temperature they're kind of soft with a little bite to it you don't want them too mushy because remember they're nachos so we're gonna be like grabbing them and dipping them now i'm going to put the onion over it just like this and then the peppers i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of sea salt just so those have a little bit of flavor and then i'm gonna set it for another like five minutes-ish. Our nachos, peppers, and onions are ready. Now we're gonna top them. They look delicious. I think once I have all the toppings, it's really gonna be delicious. So I topped it with tomatoes, a dollop of the guac. Now I'm gonna put fresh cilantro and we should be ready to dig in. Salula is a must. I just added the cheese right now. Hopefully the heat of some of the veggies will start to melt it. Now it's my favorite part, the taste test. So I'm gonna get a nice thin cauliflower right here and get a little bit of onion and tomato. I need some cilantro on there, some avocado. It's gonna be messy, but this is kind of like how you eat nachos, right? Hmm. So it was so delicious. It's just a fun way to get your veggies in just by covering the cauliflower and putting all these delicious ingredients on top of it. I think that you guys will really enjoy these. So tag me on Instagram if you make it. I'll see you guys, bye-bye.